Hello guys, my name is Siesta. In this video, I want to talk about fear, okay? So in one of the recent videos that I made, I was talking about anxiety mostly. But in this video, I want to talk about fear. Because it's the kind of like the thing that runs you, limits you in your real life or in CS, for example, or in gaming, whatever it is. Um, so I think it's really important to talk about those things because I actually don't see that much videos on it. And I want to talk about three core fears that actually everyone runs pretty much. And I want to tell you my understanding and how to adjust those fears, how to approach them. First, I want to start with the fear of specificness or specific. I actually don't know how to name it, but uh, it's pretty simple. So the example that I want to give you in real life is, for example, I don't know, you have uh, Sam from chemistry, for example, okay, or whatever from whatever um, in school like uh, subject, right? Doesn't matter. So you have a fear of that that you're gonna like uh, have the bad mark or, or something like this, and um the the thing is that you can actually fix that fear by actually learning right by actually study about the subject actually in game could be like um your fear of not performing in terms of actually being to out aim others and you can actually fix it by, by training your aim right so those are really easy but yet pretty hard because you're trying to like um you're trying to like avoid those problems but you need to actually acknowledge and actually realize those problems and work on that so this is pretty much like fear of more like specificness you know second fear that runs us all is fear of unknown and i definitely um can relate to it and i think everyone can relate to it and this is kind of categorized to two categories and mainly the main concept is to understand that uh you have a certain like unknownness that you kind of imagine it so it's kind of like this black screen right or whatever it is like it's just unknowns and you are projecting certain things on it and the first thing is that when you have some scenario that you're feared of so you're projecting only bad things on it only the things that you're feared of and that's because of your anxiety because your anxiety uh like trying to think about okay what if what if what if you know and it's like fear it's only like pretty much fear so if you're projecting like uh for example let's say um in real life i don't know could be like, like present some presentation in front of class have some meeting and now we're like uh, all the time imagining like what ifs and what could have be wrong and, and stuff like this right so you're projecting on the unknownness you're projecting the worst things the worst scenarios that can happen and the most easiest and simpler answer to actually like um, remove that fear is to actually understand that the anxiety that provides those fears uh, the anxiety wants to help you in that term but uh, the anxiety doesn't help you that much, okay? Uh, so the best thing is to actually understand it that the anxiety like only it's like on the unknown you're projecting not real reality, but only fear, right? And fear is not reality. It doesn't need to be reality if you're not gonna let it go and if you're not gonna let it go then try to imagine some happy things, right? And I know it sounds maybe really naive and, and stuff, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna expect only good things, right? Uh, but it means that you're gonna show the anxiety that is in your head, in your subconscious, that it's better to actually present the better things because then you feel safe, then you feel better. And uh, it's just in general like better life experience. If you're gonna all the time uh, consciously adjust this fear of unknownness, to something positive to actually feel that you're gonna make it that you it feels like you you are confident in that term then it will definitely makes you better uh, so this is kind of like in real life but in game so me as an opera i kind of struggle a lot with fear of missing easy shots with hop uh, i think as an opera you can definitely relate to it it's kind of like the scenario when you're going out jungle and you're holding this cross and now everyone watching you and you are in your head thinking okay oh my god what if i miss this shot you know or something it could be like the most easiest like for example when you're flanking right here and 
there is enemy and oh, oh my god what if i miss this easy shot you know like i know it's maybe really like uh, delusional from my side you know but this is something that i was struggling with a lot and it limits me as an opera so much and you know what i actually missed those shots and that was like the worst that was like life and death scenario for real for me um so what i need to actually adjust is to tell myself and visualization that I'm gonna hit this shot and I actually feel it in my soul that I'm gonna kill this guy I'm, I'm gonna hit the shot you know I'm confident I'm gonna hit the shot and after a lot adjusting it's really hard but if you're gonna adjust it all the time all the time then anxiety just back up right it backups uh, and you will never have a problem with that so it's not only in like those present scenarios but it's also in future fear of future which is also fear of unknown right and this is again understanding the situation and that's pretty much by knowing that um if you again you have like this black screen right you have like this screen of unknownness and you are presenting your present self to the future event Okay, if that makes sense, hopefully it is. So you don't know your future self, you don't know. So the only thing that you can present is your present self to the future even. So for example, if I'm playing, I don't know, uh, let's let's put in CS. So uh, if I'm playing on ECA intermediate level, right? And I'm presenting myself to like, uh, how can I be good against opposition? Like for example, face or G2 or something like this. I'm gonna be like feared, you know. I'm 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 just gonna freak out from it because uh, it's putting my myself right now that doesn't have the skills yet, that doesn't have the knowledge and experience yet that will have probably in future, right? So it's pretty much putting your present self to the future event, and that's again when you need to realize it. Okay, but I'm putting myself in the future, but I don't know what skills, what knowledge, experience I'll have. So that's pretty much like understanding of the whole concept of fearing of the future oh i'm fearing i'm not gonna make it i'm i'm fearing i'm i'm not gonna pass this exam i'm fearing that i'm not gonna get uh, promoted in that job i'm fearing that i'm not gonna make career out of this i'm, I'm fearing that i'm not gonna get etc 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 you know what i'm talking about right so it's pretty much like the same concept like you are feared of uh putting your present you to certain future future event that will probably happen but you're gonna have different skills assets and many other stuff that you can work with and you're gonna make it so yeah it's all about this pretty much and last fear that runs us is fear of rejection and this is the biggest fear that actually is right uh, and i think i kind of touch on that in the anxiety video but i'm gonna recap it here and i think this is like really important there is like a child, right? And the child is like screaming, running. The child is like expressing fully himself and just like yelling and just don't care. The child doesn't care what he's wearing. The child doesn't care what he's saying, how expressing or act, right? And then we have like uh, older people, like they are more like scared of those things and they're more like, normal and they're not expressing themselves and they're creating all those fake fronts and stuff like this right and that's the fear of rejection pretty much uh, so that comes with really big limitations that i think everyone has in their lives and that's something that i i am working on uh um it's it's really kind of like a long process that you need to take before we tap on that we need to like actually realize uh what's the experience that we can actually have right so for example if i'm gonna tell you right now go outside and talk to stranger uh have some really really cringe conversation with them you're not gonna do that probably mostly and it's like the the limitation that wants us to like be acceptant and don't get disapproved by others if that makes sense the main thing that we need to realize is that we are not feared of the action we are not feared to actually talk to someone we are feared to reaction we are fear what they will think about us right so that's pretty important point to actually understand affected by other people like it's kind of like this here's my self worth tell me 
if I'm good or not, right? And they will disapprove of you, they will approve you, and you're gonna feel how other feels about you, which is a insane slavery. Like it's in just insane limitation. And then you have like all those things like you wanna do this action, but you're feared that you're gonna be disapproved, you're feared and stuff like this, and you're chasing the approvedness and, and many other things, and it's really bad. So the thing that actually helps me with um, disapproval and actually acceptance and all those things is that I actually imagine like it's kind of like this uh, carabin okay I, I don't know how to say in English uh, but it's, it's this you can see the image on the screen and I'm, I'm kind of thinking that the first carabin is like approval or disapproval right and the second one is your self-worth and it's pretty much like attached to each other and the main point here is that uh, if there comes disapproval to you you want to be aware of it you don't want to ignore it and think about it okay is it criticism or it is actually hate towards us uh if it's criticism then take the criticism right have a be be self-criticism and actually just okay this is some criticism that we get whatever person it's right about it i should be doing this i should be doing that uh i'm sorry i actually will learn from my mistakes etc etc right but if it's hate then what you want to do is that you want to imagine like you are detaching the carabin of Selvor from the hate, right? Because it's hate. You actually understand that it's hate, right? You're going to detach it. And now um, you understand that it's hate and it will not limit you. It will not like, it will not hurt you pretty much if I can say like this. And now we more talk about the disapproval, approval, which is kind of like the outcome of the reaction. But what about the reaction itself? What about the clear feeling of, oh my God, the judgment, right? What about the fear of judgment, which is, by the way, fear of rejection as well, but in more like specific area. So there is a lot of scenarios in life, in real life, in CS, whatever it is, when you are having problem with fearing of judgments, fearing of other people, what they think about you, okay? It's kind of like this comfort barrier, okay? Someone has it really high, so pretty much for them, the, the least thing that they're working on is uh, approaching someone on date, for example, which is actually a lot, or uh, speaking uh, in front of, speak in front of like a big crowd right so this is they they push the comfort barrier to really another level right but for most of us for most of the um the people right uh, the comfort barrier is like so small that they're scared of like uh, actually like say hi to a stranger right in in on street or whatever and the simplest fix on that and simplest things how to push the barrier barrier is actually realize where is your minimum like what is the minimum thing that feels like pretty easy but still it's not comfortable to do right and could be like the, the smallest thing ever the smallest thing ever like doing like to go outside and uh have some conversation with stranger this is kind of like the minimum thing like you think you could do that but it's still like out of your comfortable zone but a little bit right so you want to start with that then it push pushes the barrier further and then you're going to start with something bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then the things that for you felt uncomfortable feels comfortable now why because you push the barrier and you think that there is some certain danger but there is non danger but you need to discover that there is no danger do not fear it and that's it right